Hey guys, so Ultimate Masters has come out and it's been a few days since we've seen most of the cards. Now, a lot of these prices are the highest they will ever be, so it's interesting for me at least to document it. Therefore, when I look at the current prices, whatever year it may be, I can see if it was worth buying, what was not worth buying, but the expected value is very good. Uh, this set there are there's a Black Friday sale at a local game store near me in Houston. It, its name begins with an S. I don't know if they want me to mention their name on the channel, but they're selling these Ultimate Masters with the box topper for two hundred and forty dollars, which is a really good deal. Um, that is a very good deal. The expected value of the set is right now four hundred and eighty dollars. Now that expected value will obviously fall. But when you can buy something for half the price of the expected value, that's what you should be doing. Just like I was doing with the conspiracy boxes, I bought a bunch of them. And I opened a ton on the channel and I gave away a ton. But I knew that it would be okay because I could always open the box and get that much value back. So if you paid $70, I think at one point I was paying $65 for a box of conspiracy take the crown you will be okay because regardless of what happens, you can open a box and you can get your $65 back. And that's what I like about this type of product. Um, I think at $240, uh, 240 that's with the box topper. You set a box topper for 40 bucks on average, I guess. It's $200 a box. It's very good. You're not going to lose money from it. Now, that being said, I did commit to not buying this product as a protest to the quote higher prices which I assume was coming, but the supply is much, much uh, higher. Uh, speaking to this one store, very small store, I was surprised by how much that they received, that they are going to receive. Uh, it's a lot. Um, it is a lot. I don't believe this stuff will be very rare. Uh, in fact, I think it's actually going to be more common than Masters 25. It will be more common than Iconic as well. So we will see. I mean, it has great cards in it. Uh, these cards will hold value in time. They are taken from the sets like New Phyrexia. I mean, this is the end-all be-all. This is a one card you want to pull and New Phyrexia. Now, the only card that is missing, in my opinion, is Mox Opal. And I think they have something special for Mox Opal. So that's just out of the blue. It, it, it seemed like they hit every single card over 100 bucks minus the Opal which is very strange that it is left out because it is one of the most useful and played cards in modern in all types of decks. Affinity, Tron, um, even the uh, Storm builds play, right? What, what, no, the, uh, the combo, the Ironworks combo plays it. That's one of the top decks. I'm surprised that's such a good deck, but it is a great fun deck to play. So, I don't know. Um, we'll see, but I think this product, if you have some money and you want to save money for a product, and you can get this at your local game store for 240 with box hopper, 200 without box hopper, uh, you should do it because whether or not you open it today or you keep it stored, it will continue to go up in value. Very little of the old boxes have the same opening value. I'll take new Forex sale. That box is $380 now, 360 but you open it, and the expected value is maybe 1, 170, 160. You lose more than double your money as soon as it's open. And that's just not a great feeling. And that's why I'm always surprised to see so many box opening channels. Because to be sustainable, they really have to be very large and or continue to... They, they either need to get boxes at a very discount price or had previously purchased it. Like Innistrad, Innistrad, you pull um, the Innistrad box, what's it, 200, 250? Like you're not even going to get $100 expected value for most boxes. So this will be one of those things, um, like Conspiracy 2, that you will buy um, and it will be good. Uh, it's all, all about price. Um, I will just say the store's name because there's no reason for me not to say it. It's Senpai's Games. I saw an ad. On Facebook at 240 for bot with box topper, I believe 240 for this set. Uh, it's very, very good. 
Um, if I was interested in buying the set, yeah, I would buy it at the 240 price. And that's not even like a huge store or anything. That's just a mid to smaller store. So yeah, it has all the cards that you need to play in modern. It has all the cards that you really want in EDH. It will hold its value incredibly well. And not because for no other reason than you can open it and get your value back which is the best way to do it. Uh, I've opened a lot of products recently, a lot of Pokemon products maybe will appear in this channel. And it is very difficult to get your quote value back from a Pokemon product. I would say, say it's impossible actually. I've never gotten my value back from any Pokemon pa product. But in terms of magic products, Conspiracy Take the Crown has always been very good for me. I've always plussed on that set. I've never had a bad box that was under the $65 or $70 that I paid for it. Especially in a case, in terms of a case, even with the Leovolt reprint, I'm pretty sure I'd still broke even given what's in the boxes. And this is one of those things where you can buy it. Uh, if I would suggest paying $240 for it, that is what all that local game store, small local game store is doing. Uh, it is not unreasonable. I think I've seen that price all around my local game stores. They're paying about two ten for it. So if they can sell out, make thirty dollars a box, that's great. And then the box hopper is interesting too because at two forty, you're not going to do too poorly, right? Um, that's definitely not something that is. I'll have a screenshot of the uh, sale. And it's a very good sale. I probably will go there Friday. I don't know my marketing interns working on Friday. Like she may want to, she may not. Um, so I'll see what goes on there. But Black Friday is a lot of fun. I normally go with my friends. Uh, they are most of them are out of town. I did have Thanksgiving lunch, lunch last dinner. I guess it's like a lunch dinner thing uh, with my local church, and that was really fun. So I'll see what happens in Black Friday, but I will leave you a link to that coupon to you for, or the place so you guys know it's real. These prices are real. 240 with, I'm almost certain, a box topper. I definitely have to go there and visit and see what... Uh, they're also selling booster boxes with $75 for Japanese booster boxes and the Global Series, <laughs> which was the worst investment. Um, I'd probably make a no whole nother video because it's not always good, right? You also get the bad, and very few MTG Finance people will tell you about the bad. I thought the most beautiful card I've ever seen was that Global Series, that Yamu something. And I was like, man, that card's so beautiful. And I, it started at $34.99 in my local game store. And then it went down to $29.99. Then I found a Dave and Adams for $9.99, and now it's selling for 5 bucks. I've never seen a product tank this hard before. And I want to keep buying the product, but at this point, like, there's not any reason to do that at all um yeah so these prices will drop but i don't think they will drop that i don't think the expected value goes below 200 a box and if you're buying at 240 that's what you need the expected value to be at and you also get that box hopper so theoretically the box hopper itself could be 240 dollars right now at the highest price point i do like what they are doing this was a lot better than i expected and I give Wizard of Coast credit for putting so many valuable cards. Uh, the one thing I didn't expect was Back to Basics, Phyrexian Altar, Phyrexian, the Phyrexian Legendary Land. That is that is um, not what normally happens in a Master Set, right? Uh, in a Master Set, you show off your Jace, and then you hype it up or you show off your mana drain and that's it and there's nothing left <laughs> so after the first day there are no cards above ten dollars left uh here we hit a lot of these things that are back to basic was over a hundred dollars i mean engineered explosives well we knew about that the first day but a lot of things were just uh incredibly un unlikely to be in the set and yet they were in the set I'm actually reading a Puker Trade article, and I want to make a video on the financing of Puker Trade and like what that actually means. I don't know if I want to make that video. It would be very negative because of based on like what was happening. But I think I've made a video long enough 
that I don't need to make. But it's very fascinating. I can read you some numbers, but they're selling. So remember, 100 Pico points is a dollar. So someone traded, um, what's this? A Mox Jet. They traded 247,000 Pico points for unlimited Mox Jet. And a uh, Battle Bond Booster Box goes for 37,500 points, which is $375. Like, what? Alliance Eye Diamond goes for 73,000 points, which is $730. Um, that's no good. A Mox, Dime, a Mox Opal goes for either 34,000 points or 30,000 points. Uh, and the Scars and Meriden, and that is very bad because that's like three hundred dollars for Mox Opal. That's a hundred bucks. So anyway, it's probably not something that you're interested in. I'll put a link. So hopefully you will see the sale. Bye guys.